Okay, now welcome back. Okay, now I'm having a little tough time because I just remembered there are three places I can go now from our from from the, our last part. Now from here, after go getting the large ember, I can do one of three things. I can go to the grave and go to the grave creeper kit. Um, blah. I don't even know the name of that place. I can go down and get the rites of kindling. I can go. I can go to that crow. Go back to the under, to the um, under the asylum to fight the boss for the titanite slab. Or I can just go straight and I can just go straight to the dark root garden and get the the ring that we need to go fight the four kings. And I just decided in my own head to go and get the titanite slab from this one boss. And I can hear the sounds of whatever that snake dude just sleeping snoring his head off and no that's not how I do it I'm forgetting things all right now basically gonna go here okay uh, yep roll off there I actually missed I actually missed time that but it still worked out oh yeah before you go back to the undead um, you for for this next boss I would recommend you getting this crest shield um, have with great shield is probably better, but you know you need 50 strength to use it, and I don't have that yet. So, if you have 50 strength, like you were making a, a pure strength character, good on you. Use that. Use this shield for this boss. But I recommend using the crush shield. And I just got I just got a message. <laughs> I think it's from my. Oh oh no no ah! I hit the wrong button. Mother ah! Ah! I don't believe that. Okay. Alright, Ryan, calm down. Don't blow up the mic. Ah, alright. Yeah. Don't worry about these guys, they're actually quite easy now. See? One hit. Also, they, they also dropped some good shields as well that can also help you. But go with the crest shield. The crest shield is much better. Uh, but anyway, let's go do that again. And this mother, wake up! No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Remember, if you need to talk to him, hit him once, and and do not hit because you don't do not kill him. Actually, can you even kill him? And, but try, basically, don't test out that rule. Don't kill him because he's actually story. He's actually important to this story. I actually don't know if that actually breaks the game. I I hope not, because then that would just be total piss taking. Dark Souls. Oh, but anyway, let's go up here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, yeah. Do this again. Let's do it properly this time. All right. Probably better that you run and jump that, but I roll because I'm not very good at running and jumping. Let's go up here. Up here, up here, and uh, yeah, you know the deal from last time. It's... And we're let the crow snatch you up, and he takes you all the way back to here. Like I said before, when I was here before, don't worry about the uh, black knights. Uh, they actually don't respawn. Oh, and I forgot about the, the angle. Uh, careful with these guys, though. They're doing they're doing so little damage when I have this armor on, but still, they're annoying. Okay, now to fight this boss is actually a little bit of, of a funny thing. All right, now to start the fight of the boss, you actually need to go in the center of this of this plateau here. Because if you if you, you you can probably tell that the floor itself it, it is a little um, little shaky. Basically, it looks like it's going to break, and it will. To the area, the next area of the boss. Now, before I do that, I'm actually going to go and rest here at this bonfire. Uh, is it kindled actually? No, I can't kindle it. All right, uh, do I level up? Don't have enough to level up. Doesn't matter. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna switch out my shield. Go with the crest shield. Like I said, go with the shield because it has a great magic defense. And this enemy you're about to Oh! Fuck, I forgot about you. Um Yeah, just kill these guys because uh don't need more things dropping down and hitting you. Uh and which is the way he faced when I drop down? I'm trying to remember that. Okay, from here on out you don't from here on out, heal only with Estus Flask because it is quicker than what's gonna happen. Alright now you're gonna jump walk in here and you're gonna wanna tap the roll button. Oh which I did not do. You wanna face him, drink, and be careful. Oh I don't believe I blocked that. Alright, now as you can see it's one of these demons again. But now he does like a, a fire magic attack. I'm gonna move back and face him. Oh my god, this is so bullshit. Alright, you wanna get what you wanna do is you wanna get close. Uh he's a little bit too far from me now. Alright, this is good. Now you wanna get behind his backside here. That's a safe area from the magic attack. And you just wanna keep swinging. Alright, when he does that. How did that hit me? Alright. Those that attack is good. Basically, you just stay behind his backside and be careful for the magic. Keep the shield up when he does that. And you just want to keep moving to his side and be careful because that, when he does that movement, he kind of angles it differently. So you just want to. It's actually better if you two hand it just to do some more damage. And yep. Bam! Just keep doing that and keep facing his backside and hopefully he just. Keeps doing th that attack. Yep. Yeah. And pretty much you just want to rinse and repeat. I'm just going to go for a little cheeky one. Alright. Yeah. Okay, he's, he's stuck in that pattern now. Basically, if you're lucky, he'll keep doing that in this pattern. And that's if you're lucky. Yep. Yeah. Stay back. Keep your shield up. Don't do what I just did right there. Alright, he's doing that flying thing. Alright, move back. Do not stay close because he's a little bit bigger than the regular silent demon. Alright. And you're good. Bam. Oh, that was good. Okay, now the, this guy, he's not that hard. Which I keep saying a lot. I know I say that a lot. It's like, but dude, I died to him. Keep, I keep dying to him. Yeah. It happens. Basically, if you're unlucky, like the first, the hardest part of, the, of that boss fight is the first few minutes. Just because you fall, you fall down f from up there to here and it takes out a lot of your life. And he's literally just waiting there for you. I was lucky, particularly, that he didn't start off with like the blasting magic attacks. Because if, if he did that and I dropped down, I would have been dead. I'm also lucky that I was wearing this, um, this set of armor. Because the Black Knight set, like I said, has a great amount of defense. For like physical attacks. Honestly, I would prefer to have worn the Havel set because, like I said, that has better magic defense. But you know, if you if you can, but the problem is I would slow roll, and I really don't like slow rolling, but especially that boss. So I just went with the with the black the black knight set, which worked out perfectly fine. And if you're lucky like me, where he keeps on spamming that one magic attack, you can just literally go to his backside and just keep and be in a safe area. But like I said, be careful, don't, you know, don't always keep expecting him to do the same attack again. Sometimes he'll do the bump stuff and as you see, if you are too close to the butt stomp, he can still damage you. And thanks to warping, I can... Oh, wait. I just realized I didn't have to go to that damn bird. I could have just warped here. Doi. So I just wasted a few good minutes of this video just to get to this place, but yeah. So we now have the Titanite, uh, wait, we now have the Titanite Slab, which we can fully upgrade our Zweihander. And now we have a fully upgraded Zweihander, he can, it cannot go any higher than 15. You can scale it back down, but why would you? And let me just get rid of some of the stuff I have in my 
in my, I have in my, um, um, yeah, since I don't really need that shield right now, uh, yeah, keep my bald shield, yeah, that should be it, oh wait, uh, let me change to my, back to my bold shield, I really like that shield, Alright, so we've done that now. I am going to uh, warp. Friday Shrine? Yeah, back to Friday. Actually, do I want to go to Friday? Or do I? Yeah, Friday. Okay, so since we did that boss and got the Titanite Slab, yeah. you can, There is another place you can get tit a Titanite Slab, however, that involves fighting. That involves. Um, if I remember correctly. That involves having to go to a boss area with a boss that is much more of a pain than him. So I would just get it from there. And that boss you can only access if you have the DLC. The night, uh, the night, uh, the night, uh, blah, blah, blah. Notorious of the Abyss DLC, sorry. I was forgetting the name of it. Okay, so now we're back here. Now we got the Titanic Slab, we upgraded, we upgraded our sword, it's now at 15, it's, uh, it's overpowered. Now you're probably thinking, what's the next area? Do I go get the boss? Do I go fight the boss to get the ring to fight the four kings? No, I'm actually going to go to a little area that I really hate because it is bullshit. And this area, you're going to learn very, fa very fast why it's bullshit if you go, if you've already been there. Uh, let's put, yeah, let's put it to there. I'm just gonna keep up. I'm just gonna keep up in my endurance, just to, just to, so I can bur um, less burn in my equip load, and I can actually wear the Havel set. I, w I would like to fight the, wear the Havel set when I fight the four kings because they are annoying. And with the Havel set, I don't have to. Up I don't have to. Um, I don't have to upgrade. I don't have to upgrade Havel set because you can't. And honestly, Havel set by itself, non upgraded, is the, probably some of the most best armor. Well, no, technically this armor is better upgraded. But that, but the Havel set is the best non-upgraded armor. And I just fought really fast there, so I hope you all got that. Bam. Okay. Now, this graveyard. Now, some people make the mistake of going to this area first. Uh, any skeletons here? Nope. Alright. The area I'm going to now, um, this area I'm going to now is probably, because potentially you can go to this area first, don't, because th this is pretty much for people who know what they're doing and can just like speed run, speed run and know how to get past this area quickly. Okay, now this is the catacombs, that's what it's called. I keep forgetting the name of this place. I don't go here often. Are you all right? Now you're gonna no notice something. Are right, you notice I didn't get his soul? There's a reason for that. These guys, and actually, I should probably. Uh, I just remembered something. Let me go. Do I? Oh, did I get it? That item? No, I didn't. Did I? Ah, okay. Now you notice that this guy keeps repairing himself, and I don't get his souls. That's because a necromancer is nearby and is reviving him. So what you want to do is you want to hit him. Just quickly run down. Because there are skull, the exploding skull heads here. You just want to quickly run down. You want to go through here. Don't fight any of these skulls. Well, not yet anyway. Ignore them, run here. And this guy. He's the one I did not mean to do that, and I'm glad I did. He's the guy that is reviving these skulls. So if you just wanna, bam. And now you see the skulls are dying. I'm getting their souls, which is funny that skulls even have souls. But now that I killed the necromancer who's reviving them, and let's unlock the ne the pathway to the next area. And let's yeah, gonna kinder this bonfire here because uh, this this next area is so much trouble.
Okay. Now, the catacombs is a tricky area because it's filled with these non-killable skeletons that you can only kill once you kill the necromancer. And the necromancers are little bitches that just tend to hide. Alright. That's the reason why I got... I stocked up on bow on arrows. Because this area is... You got a lot of enemies that you got killed by distance, like this guy here. You see him? And he sees you, obviously. Now you want to kill this guy. You want to just hit him with the bow at range. Nice. I keep hitting the wrong button to, to, to fill my bow. Now, since he's dead, I can now kill these guys. And you want to be careful when you do that roll, because they that roll actually does hurt you. Um, want to go for hit? They do some crazy attacks. Like they have no regards for their own safety because they're skeletons. They don't need to. Now, now the funny thing is, you can actually bypass this entire area, especially if you're like a sorcerer and you have the, um, you have that um, spell that allows you to reduce fall damage. Ten, um, you have two ways to do this. You can do this the long way by going through the actual pathway, or you you can just if you ha like if you have like a item or anything that allows you to reduce four damage, or if you're just not bothered about four damage, yeah, you can just literally jump, fall off the edge here. But you gotta be careful because unlike me, and you want to roll back. And heal. Because the skeleton the skeleton head is gonna explode. The skeleton head is going to explode. Okay. As you can see, skeletons, but I'm not gonna fight them. Bye bye skeletons. Alright, pick that up quickly. Oh crap. Uh get down there, skeleton. I don't need to fight you. Now he's not dead. Um I'm actually gonna summon this guy. Paladin Leroy? Oh, he's not the actual Paladin Re Re Leroy. No, actually, he is. Is he? I've never seen this before. Then again, I've never actually been down this. I've never. I actually don't get down this level without without dying a few times. So this is the first time. Wow, I didn't know we can summon you, Paladin Leroy. Paladin Leroy is an NPC. He's not. Um, he's not a player character he's an NPC character and he's actually he actually does invade you later on in in the in, in the in the later versions of catacombs which is the tomb of the giants so what we now we don't want to fight all these those um bone wheel guys so we're just gonna drop down here row and run we're gonna run because this guy is they're bone men you just want to run you don't want to fight them and really don't really need paladin Leroy to help me He's gonna come with me. Yo, Palin. Yo, Leroy. Are you following me? Leroy. Oh, nice. He followed me. All right, come, Leroy. Leroy, this way. Leroy. Oh, you see, he's aggroed on those guys. You see the bone wheels on the other side, so he's aggroed on them. So it's probably it's probably a mistake me getting that guy. Because he does um, increase this boss's HP. Now, this boss is a this boss is pretty much one of the most trickiest bosses you're gonna you're gonna find. His name is Pinwheel. And what you want to do is you just want to ignore his his clones and hit him. And be careful. Bam. There we go. Done. Thanks, Leroy. And you get you unlock the right of kindling. I got humanity because Leroy was here with me. And I got the mask of the mother. I actually don't know what the mask of the mother does. Hold on, let me just let me just have a look at it. 
All right, one of the free mask of the pinwheel, um, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grave Lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask belongs to the kindly mother. Slightly raises HP. Oh, okay. Don't really need that. Um. So yeah, that was pinwheel boss. <laughs> He's not really that. He is probably the easiest boss you will fight in this game. You can actually probably fight him a bit earlier, like before you even go to... Like before you head to Shen's fortress or just before you head to Analando, you can come back here and get the Rite of Kindling. Um, oh yeah, what the Rite of Kindling does, it allows you to kindle bonfires even further to the to the point of, I think, 20, so your SS Flask, you can now, if you rest at a bonfire, you can now um, kindle it again. Uh, three more times, I think. Sorry, two more times at, uh, basically in total three times, and you get like 20 SS Flask, which is very helpful um, early early game. And oh, do I want to go? I don't want to go here. See, what I normally do is I don't like to go any further because of the, the catacombs. Because catacombs is a sorry. This, this we're leaving the cat. We're actually leaving the catacombs and we're heading to um, the tomb of the giants. And as you can see, the tomb of the giants is pretty much just darkness. Now the the necromancers. If you're lucky, you can get um you can get a uh, lamp from the necromancers. Which allows you to, um, which pretty much you use for light as a light source. Um, but you got, it doesn't matter if you don't get one from the necromancers because necromancers are non respawnable. But um, it will be helpful if you want to like progress. Because one of the boss shows that we gotta go, Grave Lord Nito, is in this next area. But I'm not gonna do that. Because I actually like to fight the three, the, the four kings first because it's pretty much easier than. Grave Lord Nito. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and progress through, but it's it's hard when you don't have any. You see, because it's like so dark, and I have no idea where I'm going. See, I could just be going into a, a ditch. You see how annoying this is. I don't know if you can if you can see what I'm seeing as properly as I'm seeing it. If that makes any sense, but I actually cannot tell where I'm going, and I'm frightened to fall off like that. See what I mean? Oh, you see what? And I lost all those souls now. Well, actually, I, I can go back and get it. I'm not going to. Or should I? Oh, and I lost my humanity as well, so I can't I can't show you the right of kindling. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop there because that's a depressing note to stop on. Uh, I'm gonna go and try and see if I can get back my um, humanity and stuff by just jumping down and just sprinting ahead. So hopefully by the next time you see me, I should have my humanity back and my souls and. Hopefully I can progress a bit through the Tomb of the Giants. Actually, no. You know what I'll do? i try and go through the... Alright, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when I get that. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, remember, like the video. Uh, comment. I always like to hear, hear what you think about the videos. And subscribe to the channel. And also, links in the description. Go to all my... shows you, has links of my Twitter. Facebook and all that stuff, and also my Twitch account, which I didn't mention last time, I do live streams, and also to the network, which I'm also, which I also join. Uh, you can go, if you go through the, um, the link in the net, to, you can join the network, earn money while, you know, earn money while also helping out charities, the PG UK network. So, yeah, thank you for joining, bye-bye, bye-bye, and I spin around like a crazy madman. All right, laters.